What do you do when things you are trying are too hard? We're going to talk about that on this episode of 5 Minutes with Dad. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Dad, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Who's ready for an awesome episode? Awesome. Hey! What am I, a hot potato? Yeah. Well, I am excited to be back behind the mic with my main man, Pavlos Pavlidis. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back to me. Welcome back to you. Yes, we have a very... Ooh, we have a very special episode today of Five Minutes with Dad. Pavlos and I are going to talk about what do we do when we're trying something and it's so hard to do. You ready to talk about that, buddy? Yeah. Yes. So, Pavlos, there are some things we'll talk about a little later, but there are a lot of things that you do that are not so easy to do, huh? Yeah. And when it gets real hard to do, there are some things that we're supposed to do in order to keep growing and going, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So, but first, we'll talk about that in a bit. But first, it's time for the joke of the week. <laughs> <laughs> You, you can let it. You can let it play out. What? Okay, here comes Pavlos's joke of the week. What time is it when the clock strikes thirteen? What time is it when the clock strikes thirteen? It's time to get a new clock. <laughs> That's right. Unless you got a military time clock or you're some other part of the world. Here in the United States, typically clocks are only going up to twelve. All right, here comes my knock knock joke of the week. Knock knock. There. Goliath. Goliath who? Goliath down, you looketh tired. <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right. So those are the jokes of the week. Pavlos, you're going to like this week's resource of the week. So, Pavlos, what do you have wrapped all around your bed that you like to play around with? LED lights. LED lights. That's right. So we are going to share that because it's kind of fun. You got them. Tell everyone. You got them for birthday. your birthday. And tell people about it. What are, your, what are they? What colors do they do? Uh, all the colors. They shine all sorts of different colors. Pink or red and green and orange and blue and all sorts of different colors. You can change them. You have remote control. You can control them. And it makes your bedroom glow, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, Pavlos, and all it is, and it's super, it's not a lot of money, but it is about $12 for six and a half feet of it or $23 for 14 plus feet of LED. It's really just LED backlight lights that you get for um for tvs for smart tvs and what we did was we put it all around pavlos's bed and his bed gets to glow in the dark because uh, glow all sorts of different colors in the dark when he goes to when he lays down so if you want to check those out just go on over to amazon and you can pick it up at 5 minutes with dad.com slash lights, L I G H T S. That's our affiliate link to send you over to Amazon to get the yeah. LED lights like Pavlos in his bedroom. Right, buddy? And Angela. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Angela just got those too, didn't she? Yeah. Yep. All right. So, Pavlos, we're going to talk now about what do you do when things get hard? So, let me give you a little bit of the backstory and then you and I will chat about it, okay? So the best way to find what you want to do in life, you know, Pavlos, you know how we take walks in the morning? Yeah. And we talk about, uh, we, last time we went on a walk, we talked about, Pavlos, what do you, what would you, what problems in the world would you want to solve when you're older? What do you enjoy doing? And we talked about a whole bunch of different stuff. And what I love about trying stuff is if you try a lot of different things, you're going to say, you know what? That wasn't very enjoyable. And then you're going to say that wasn't very enjoyable, but then you're going to find some things that are enjoyable. And that's what I did when I was leaving the practice of law to become a ghostwriter. And I tried 
one thing. It didn't really, I didn't really like it. It was good, but I didn't like it. So the best way in life to find something that you really love doing is to try a whole lot of things. And when you do, almost everything you try for the first time is going to be pretty hard. Pavlos, when you first started playing basketball, was it easier or harder than it is for you to play basketball now? Harder. <laughs> yeah. Basketball was a lot harder when you first started because you didn't know how to dribble. You didn't know how to shoot. So every time you bounce the ball, the ball rolled somewhere. But now it's easier for you. Why? Because you kept playing. So when you do anything, almost everything's going to be hard because you're just learning it. But then it gets easy. So right now, basketball for you has gotten a little bit easy. And if you keep going, do you think it's going to get easier or harder? Easier. The stuff you know will get easier, but then guess what happens? It gets harder. Talking to the mic. It gets harder? Yes. You know why? Why? Because all of the easy stuff will you'll be able to master. And then the only thing left will be the really hard stuff. So... Here's an example. Let's continue to use basketball, okay? Okay. So you can dribble, right? Yeah. And you can dribble really well, right? Yeah. But when you're playing against other kids, and you, if you dribble the way you dribbled two years ago, will they steal the ball a lot from you? Yeah. But, but in order to dribble around and get past other kids, you have to dribble in between your legs, behind your yeah. back. You have to do harder and harder things to become really, really good at it, right? Yeah. So that's why... When you try something, you end up trying and it, it ends up getting easy for a little bit because you master the basics and then it gets a lot harder because you are being tested. And guess what you should do when things that you like get really hard? Try it. Yeah, keep going. So a lot of times people say, um, oh my goodness, this is getting really hard. And they say, you know what? I'm going to stop. But if it's something you enjoy and it gets really hard, that's a message to you that you are about to become awesome if you just keep going. So what do we do with basketball? We sign you up for camps, right? Yeah. And we, you have the basketball net in the yard, right? Yeah. And you have the dribble up. Do you, you want to tell everyone about dribble up? Tell everyone to dribble up. It's a basketball. It's a smart basketball, right? Yeah. And the basketball shows you all these drills that you can do to dribble behind your back, to dribble in between your legs, and a whole bunch of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So what's your favorite move to do in basketball? The left hand dribble. The left hand dribble. The left hand dribble, because you're a lefty. You're more, you're more comfortable with your left hand, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you keep going and don't let things... Uh, if you're willing to keep going, trying over and over again at something you enjoy, then you will be much more able to get world-class at something. That's really the secret. So here is my best advice to you, Pavlos, if things get tough. All right, we had to take a quick break yeah. because Pavlos needed to use the bathroom, right, buddy? Yep. That's okay. We'll just continue from there. So, Pavlos, I'm going to give you my advice and then we'll talk. You, we'll let you talk about sometime, uh, maybe when you're playing basketball or something that you like to do and that you enjoyed because you tried a whole bunch of stuff. And then we'll talk about um, how to get really awesome at it. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So, if you are trying something and it gets hard, this is what I suggest. Ask yourself, do I enjoy this? And if you enjoy it, then what's the best thing to do when it gets hard? What do you think? To keep doing it. Yes. And if you don't enjoy it and then it gets hard, then maybe that's telling you something that there might be something that you enjoy even more out there just waiting for you to try. What do you think? Yeah. So let's talk. Let's keep in sports. Okay. So there were some sports that you really liked. What sports? How many sports have you played? You've played Base basketball, baseball, soccer. Okay. And which one is your favorite out of those three? Basketball, but I like baseball a lot too. And soccer you don't like as much? No, not really. What uh, so soccer you you scored some some goals. You were really good because you hustle with muscle, right? Remember we talked about our hustle muscles? Um, if someone's new to our show, Pavlos, why don't you explain what our hustle muscles are? Head, heart. Yep, our head and our heart. Our head keeps us focused and our heart keeps us going, right? If we're yeah. ever trying to, if we're ever feeling like we need 
to put us into an extra gear, we just say, remember our hustle muscles, our head to keep us focused and our heart to keep us pushing through or keep us going. So when, when soccer got easy, you played a little bit and then it started getting harder as you went up levels, but you weren't really enjoying soccer. So we decided to say, let's play a different sport instead of soccer and that's when we you got into basketball more frequently and baseball and baseball and you enjoy both of those now basketball we talked a little bit about it getting hard uh baseball got a little bit hard too right yeah yeah and what was what were some of the things that you struggled with in baseball do you remember um Sometimes I didn't like to swing the bat. <laughs> oh, I remember that. <laughs> and also, um, there was this one game that started at 9, and we had all, all, like five overtimes. And then in the um, championships, yeah, baseball, but then the team we went against lost so easily because they were tired. Yeah, so you had... Because the other team had two hours break. Yeah, we had, um, we had a tournament. I was, I was traveling for that game, wasn't I? Yeah. Yeah, and the game started at nine o'clock at night, right? Yeah. And you played fourteen. No, it in- started at eight. It was supposed to be two hours, but we got an extra hour. It was tied, right? And you kept yeah. going and going and going, and the other team just got real tired. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So Pavlos kept doing a good job hitting, and then he got into a league where the competition was even even better um than the other leagues right you would hire higher level of of players when they got older and stuff like that yeah yeah and then pavlos would go up to home plate and he would just hold that bat and not swing it the pitch could have been right down the middle and pavlos would be like nope i'm not swinging so we challenged pavlos i knew he liked it and he said he said he liked it when he was at home when he was practicing he'd swing 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 but when you got up to the plate you just never swung did you no i never so finally, I said, I actually played a, a trick. I said, Pavlos, listen, I'll give you a dollar every time you swing. I don't care uh, just to get you used to swinging at pitches. I don't care if it's a ball or a strike. If you swing, you get a dollar. And if you um, swing 10 times in a row, we'll get you a Jason Tatum rookie card, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I knew you needed a little push. And I said, I know it's probably not. Um, we, everyone tried everything we could think of, but I knew Pavlos liked baseball. So I said, if he would just swing, he'll be able to hit the ball. And if he hits the ball, he'll start having fun and it'll start getting easier again. So Pavlos for a while there, you didn't keep going. You kept showing up, but you kept the bat on your shoulders. And then what happened when you started swinging? I started having a lot of fun again. Yeah. And you started getting on base, didn't you? Yeah. And then you got, didn't one time you had like a triple or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. And you swung and you ran and you ran and all of a sudden it was fun and you pushed through and it got easier, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? It only cost me about 20 bucks to get you there, did it? (laughs) Yeah, it only cost you 20. (laughs) Yeah. And then, and Pavel's got a Jason Tatum rookie card and I I think I paid $20 for that Jason Tatum rookie card. He's a player on the Celtics, and now that card's worth over $100. So how cool is that? Really? Yeah. So things are going to get hard, and things are going to get really challenging. But if you enjoy it, you will get so much more joy if you keep pushing when things get hard. Keep trying, and just say, if I swing and miss, Pavlos, when you swing and miss... What do you do with the next pitch? You just wait for the next time and then you what? Swing and try to hit it. Yeah, but now after now that you're used to, once we got you through that barrier, through that barrier in your head, what were you thinking? Why didn't you swing when you were up there? I don't know. You don't know? Um, so sometimes it's just you have to, you, you're scared that I don't want to get hit. I don't know. I don't want to miss it if I swing. Um, but sometimes we just have to, if you just try it and you swing and you miss enough, you say, you know what? I am going to, it, it, it's not the end of the world if I swing and miss. I'll just swing and practice and practice and get better. But once you get through that obstacle, it gets easier and it gets way more fun. So, Pavlos, here's the process. Ready? Yeah. You like something, you try it. You try a whole bunch of different things. What you like, you keep doing. When and it, when it gets hard, you, um, you know you're good at it, so you keep doing it and try to master the harder stuff. That's right. When something gets hard, if something gets easy and then hard, 
then you know you're good at it. Exactly. And if it's fun for you, if you enjoy it, if it's something you want to pursue, when it's easy and then gets hard, you keep going and then you can become world class. And then guess what's going to happen? It's going to get easy again. And then it's going to get hard again. And then you're going to push through and get even more world class. That's what all of the professional athletes do. So they make it to the NBA and to the Major League Baseball and to the Major League Soccer and the NFL because they they practice until it gets easy and then keep going until it gets hard. And then yeah. practice until it gets easy and keep going until it gets hard. Cool, huh? Yeah. All right. So, Pablos, let's leave it there. I just want that one message that... It, it's the what the best this is what the best doctors athletes lawyers writers inventors and business people do yeah. they aren't successful because they are best are, are great at everything they're successful because they found something they liked doing and then they kept doing it and doing it and doing it and, and they doing kept it. doing it they liked it enough to keep doing it even when it was difficult all right so pavlos let's stop it there don't forget those led lights that pavlos likes at five minutes with dad.com slash lights <laughs> that's right so that's it for this episode of five minutes with dad thank you for listening ready for an hey this is the um, end episode of five minutes with dad thank you for listening to <laughs> bye, five bye, minutes bye. with dad to connect with pavlos bye. angela and nick subscribe to the five minutes with dad newsletter at five minutes with dad.com. <laughs>